Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Enter the Gungeon. My name is Silver, and we're going to move on and play another round. So to, in the last episode, we played as the Hunter, and we, uh, no spoilers. This time we're going to play the Pilot, and let's put on an alternate costume. See, I get this alternate costume if I beat the game and kill my past, so I'm going to use it this time. So, you know, uh, just as a recap, you got your dodge roll, you got your move, you got your shoot, you know, your standard enter the gungeon gameplay. Now today, we're going to play as the pilot, and the pilot is unique because he starts with A, the disarming personality. Uh, I'll just pull up my Amonomicon here. This is my item count, which lets me see what items I have. So I got my rogue special. It's a very bad pistol. It has, I think, six shots in it, and it doesn't aim really, too, really well. I've got my uh, trusty lockpick, which lets me uh, substitute it for a key. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. We'll see if, if it works better this time um, when I'm playing through it. It usually has like a 50-50% chance of working. So, Also, the next item that we have is the disarming personality. This reduces prices at shops, which is really good for us. And we have our hidden compartment, which lets us have higher ammo capacity and a secondary item. Now... You're going to see the Rogue Special in action. This pistol is extremely, extremely inaccurate. I'm not trying to spread my shots or anything. The bullets just fly left and right. Okay, now let's go kill these shotgunners like we always do. Now the shotgunners, they've been... Uh, I think they've been like really difficult for me lately since I haven't played Enter the Gungeon in a little bit. Uh, it's been a little while. It's been a little while since I've played. So, when I was doing a little bit of practice before this run, I was dying to them, which was not good. So, as usual, uh, we have our first floor, and what are we trying to do today? Well, we are going to try to A, unlock a secret character by uh, killing, or not actually, not killing, um, by finding bulletkin that wear red capes, and we are supposed to keep them alive but we'll, we'll be on the hunt for them. I'll explain it if we see them. But for now, I think we're going to try to... Oh, did not even see that hit there. Okay, well, there you go. Like I said, I'm a little bit rusty. Gotta, gotta, you know, get back in the game. Oh, that chest is going to explode if I don't open it. So I'm going to use the lockpick. It worked. Lockpick worked. Open the chest, and we get an ice bomb. Now you can see here, we have lockpick, and if I press shift... I can get the ice bomb. So primarily I'm going to use the ice bomb as my boss killing weapons and or my weapon. So and what it basically does is it's like the bomb except it freezes enemies. So I'm going to chuck it over here. It did not extinguish the fireplace. Okay. Good to know. And for those who don't know, the fireplace is a a way to get to the secret level. And the secret level is basically like another floor and you need to extinguish this fire and you do so by rolling a water barrel into it and we need two keys like in our first episode to enter into the secret floor now I'm looking at my map and I see that the secret room is over here and I need two keys to open the grates that let me go to the secret room secret floor Blech, excuse me so let's move along here ooh small room with a blobulon and a bullet kin Fun fact, when I first played this game, this was the very first room that I took damage in. So, it's kind of ingrained in my memory. So we got our gun mages. I'm going to break the lantern, or the chandelier, and uh, kill that guy. So I, one of my bullets hit the switch here and caused the chandelier to come crashing down and killing it for me. Now, hollow points, no problem. Got these bomb bats. And a full red heart. Well, that's nice. So now we're, oh, that's the boss, not gonna fight the boss. So now we're on the hunt for an item, another item room, because right now the rogue special is not enough for me to flawless the boss. I've done it before, but it's not, it's not something I want to go off of, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. So, we do have a key in the shop, and I have one key right now. So, and I also have my trusty lockpicks. Now here's the thing, I, ooh, this guy requires blanks. Okay, 
So this is a blank statue. If I offer a blank, he will give me a chest. So I will save this until the end of the floor in case I need the blanks for the boss. But, like I was saying, I am not sure if I want to go to the sewer floor this time. So I'm going to use my trusty lock pick to open the first lock. And if it unlocks it, then I'm going to go to, then I'm going to use my second key. But if not, then we'll just call it quits. Okay, so the lock pick was unsuccessful at cracking open this grate. So there's no point in cracking open the second one because there's no way to get to the second, oh, the secret floor now. So that's okay. That's okay. I didn't really feel like uh, doing an extremely long run. So let's just let bygones be bygones and we'll just keep going. So we're now we're hunting. That's another heart. That's really good. We're hunting for our second item room, which should be coming up soon. Actually, you know what? Let's take some time and talk about those. Um, let's talk about those freedom fighter bullets, or the ones wearing the red capes. So the bullet kin, like these regular ones that I kill, sometimes there'll be one wearing a red cape, and that red cape signifies that it's a pacifist. It doesn't want to hurt you. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't like killing people. So, it's a pacifist and it won't shoot you. If I can kill all the enemies in the room and allow that one bullet to survive, it'll eventually teleport away. And if I do this five times, I will unlock a new character. So, that's currently what I'm hunting for. This is the... Oh, these, sorry, are the Bulletkin! The Trigger Twins. So these guys, throw my bomb in there. Yes, yes. Um, in the first episode, actually, we got a gun called Smiley's Revolver. And that is actually Smiley that I'm shooting at right now. Oh, my lord. Yep, that's why you use a blank. That's where you use a blank. Blank again. No, it's okay. It's okay. I can always buy another blank at the shop if I want to. But I don't remember the bullet can being this difficult. Okay. Take out shades. Smiley's gonna get mad because I killed his poor brother. Ooh, that was close. Okay, keep pegging him with the Murr shotgun. I haven't even talked about this gun. It's a shotgun that shoots water. So I think on the ice level, that would freeze the floor. So I'm not sure how that would be useful, but... There you go. You flawless the first boss. And we get a free key, which is good. We have a unfinished gun, which is okay. Um, that might be my room killing weapon. And, uh, yeah, got our siren ammo refilled, and let's explore the floor again. Maybe, uh, maybe I might buy a blank at the shop so that I can use it on... Oh, I should get a key as well. And the, and the shop items are cheaper now, so that's why I'm stocking up here. Let's go back to that statue room, and let's use two blanks and see if we get anything good out of it, because I always get two blanks. Like, if I enter into the next floor and I uh, have no blanks, I will get a free blank. This is Table Tech Sight. So whenever I flip a table, time will slow down and I'll get double shots. So when I shoot one bullet, two bullets will come out instead. So I'm going to blank one more time. Hey, I got another chest. Remember, always shoot the chest to make sure it's not a mimic. And these are brown chests, so I don't need to use a key. I open it and we get the little bomber. This gun's okay. This gun is okay. I could use it as a boss killing weapon. Uh, basically, you charge it, and it shoots a bomb out of it. There you go. Like so. So I think that was a good use of the blanks. Got two pretty good items. Uh, I'm going to stick with the unfinished gun. Yes. Let's just double check our inventory. All right. Table tech sight. This is good. All right. Let's go down to the next floor. Loading, loading, loading. And you'll notice that this map is completely different from the first time I played it, because it's randomly generated. So, welcome to the official second floor. I did not go to the sewers this time. I wasn't able to, and therefore I was unable to get the item that I need. Oh, that bullet, bullet bat. Ah, I should have been a little more careful. I should have been using my table to sight, actually. There was a table there and I could have saved myself, but... A little distracted, but because I didn't go down to the secret sewer floor, I don't get to go down to the secret third floor, because I didn't pick up the armor that was on that floor. So let bygones be bygones, and we'll just keep uh, moving along. This is a gun muncher, I'm sure we remember what that does, 
And this is the secret room, or this is the room where I would have placed the armor if I had gotten it. So we'll just forget about that. Now for the gun muncher, I might want to munch this unfinished gun. Uh, it's okay. It's got a good ammo capacity and it does go through enemies when I shoot and has a good fire rate as well. However, the only problem is that its range is quite lacking. Okay, should really be flipping tables. I'll flip one now, time slows down, and I go boom, boom, boom. See, there's multiple shots coming out of my gun now, but that's only for a short amount of time. Oh, I rolled into the TNT. Ow, 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 ow. Rolled into the TNT barrel, and then I rolled into the... Oh, flip the table. Okay, reload, reload, reload. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Very good. And this veteran gun bullet man is... Oh, we got ourselves the ice... Queen, no, oh, no, not Ice Queen. The Iron Maiden froze it. Oh, and the Ice Bomb finished off for us. Okay, so let's visit the shop. I admit that wasn't really the best uh, use of resources. I shouldn't have been hit that much. So, oh well, we'll let that slide. I'm not too sure if I've seen the hidden, uh, the uh, Freedom Fighter yet. So, unless I accidentally killed him. If I offer one of my guns at this altar, it'll heal one heart, but I don't need it right now. So I roll that TNT barrel, and I manage to shoot it to kill those two wizards, or gungeon, no, what are they called? Uh, gun wizards? I don't quite remember. Kill that shaman. Gunjurers, gunjurers, like the play, a play on words of conjurers. Okay, we got our king bat here. Just light them up. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be clicking. I should just hold the shoot button instead. Well, I know that sounds like a like um, really redundant for me to say, but actually, there are some weapons that actually shoot faster when you click rather than hold, and that's why I oftentimes like to click and test to see if a gun shoots faster um, clicking rather than holding. But for this gun, I think it. For this gun, I think it's just easier to just hold down. Saves my finger a little bit of trouble. That wasn't that good. I'm not too good with table tech sight, because I often I often don't buy table tech. I Oh, get the fire out of here. I often don't use table tech items, so mostly because they don't really drop for me often. But that's a brown chest. Mm, I'll save a key. Maybe I can find a better chest, or maybe there's another opportunity to use a key somewhere else a little more efficiently. And besides, we're not lacking in weapons or anything, and I'm not in desperate need for health. That was a good dodge. Flip the table. Yeah, I really gotta get used to this table tech site. It's really helping me a lot. Okay, kill that guy, and the AK-47 drops shortly after. An excellent time for ammo. Now you notice I'm using my unfinished gun a lot more often, and that's because I want to get rid of its ammo as soon as possible. I don't want to just gun munch it without, you know, making good use of it. So flip a table, drop those bowls in there. Nice, nice. And there you can see that piercing shot working really well going through all enemies and saving me a lot of hassle. Got our grenades coming in. Oh, and the reason why I'm rolling over this little metal gap here is because those are, ooh, hollow points. Let me finish the room first before I, oh, there you go. It opens up and it drops. So I didn't want to stand on there for too long and drop down to a pit and get hurt. There are no tables here, so no table tech sight for us, but these are just regular bullet kin. And, uh, yeah, there were no, um, there were no, what is the word? Freedom fighter bullet. So there was no freedom fighter bullet. Ammo's going well for the unfinished gun, since I just picked up the ammo recently. Ooh, the boss should be soon, I hope. Wow, that was... See, this is why I don't really like the pilot, because he has low accuracy. So his bolts are going to fly left and right, and especially when you really need to land a hit. Oh, another ammo, an ammo drop, that's really good. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll stick with the unfinished gun. I guess the ammo is, like, good and bad, because I do want to get rid of this thing, but... At the same time, it's serving us well, so I might as well make use of it. Maybe the boss weapon, or whatever the boss drops, might not be good, so maybe I can mix that. Or maybe whatever I get from the brown chest will be bad, and I can mix it with this gun. There's the boss. Don't really want to fight the boss yet, because maybe there might be a better chest later in the floor. 
Ah, it's a blue chest. I will open this. Is I think this is a play on um, Nuclear Throne, another uh, indie game that I might play a little later on this channel. But basically, when I use it, all the dead bodies explode. I'm not going to use it because it's not really a good item and I haven't been able to use it effectively. So you can see... Hmm. I'm waiting for the rat to show up. But you might see it in the corner of your screen. I'm just gonna... There we go, there's the rat and he's taken away the item. And I will never get it again. Flip the table. Ooh. Okay, come on. Oh! Oh! Could have been a little better. Could have been a little better. Oh! Actually, really good. Really good. That piercing shot providing a lot of benefit for me. Now, I wish I could have gun munched that, uh, that melting rock. But, sadly, I can't bring that many items with me. And the lockpick still might have some use for me. Because it might be considered an emergency key, you know, in case I need to open it, uh, a door that I have no more keys left. So with one key left, I can visit the shop, maybe buy another key just to be safe, buy that key. Now this is the Potion of Lead Skin, and I've been eyeballing this for a while. Okay, uh, I'm a bit of a hypocrite, I'm going to buy the Potion of Lead Skin and dro <laughs> drop the lockpick, because... I really like the potion of lens. Oh, don't shoot in the shop. Don't shoot in the shop. Uh, he gets very mad if you shoot in the shop. I was trying to teleport, and I forgot to pull up the map. So, let's open this chest here. Oh, a free key. So that's really good. And a regular shotgun. This is pretty good for room clear. So, <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll fight the boss. What weapon am I going to use? I think I'm going to stick with Little Bomber, and if that doesn't work, I might switch to the Mer Shotgun. But I'll charge a shot, we'll see who it is, and this, my friends, is the Eye of the Beholster? Yes! Okay, here we go. Charge a bomb, shoot it in there, charge a bomb, shoot it in there, and the laser is actually no problem. It's when the bullets start coming is when I'll use my... Okay. Potion lead skin, get right up in there, boom, drop a bomb. No, this isn't working. So let's go back to Mer Shotgun. Just pump that damage in, pump, 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 and lead, lead potion skin is wearing out. So use a blank, excellent use of a blank, not taking any damage. I want to flawless this boss because I didn't go down to the secret floor, so I, didn't, I don't have as many resources as I would like to. Yeah, Beholster's a little... Ooh, bullet heli. That's a lot of bullets flying everywhere. And the Beholster also spawns um, little eyeball thingies, as you can see in the bottom corner. Oh, reload, please. Reload, please. Ooh! Yes! Okay, not even worried. Kill the rockets. And those little bullet eyeball guys, they're, they help litter the screen with bullets. And this seems to be going really well. I'm at the final stretch, about to flawless him. Woohoo! And that's how you flawless the bolster. And here we have the eyeball guy crying because we killed his father. Sorry about that. Uh, I can't touch him because I'll take a, take a hit. So I'm just going to drop him with the rogue special. Boom. This is amazing. This is the Mega Man hand. And this is one of the funnier weapons in the game. Well, referencing. Uh, weapons in the game and I'm sure if uh, a couple gamers out there can recognize that this gun is Mega Man's weapon his arm buster and I can shoot it regularly which doesn't do very much damage but I can charge it and it'll do bonus damage but it doesn't use up extra ammo and there you go it shoots a much larger shot so that's definitely not a weapon that I'm willing to sacrifice I didn't really like the uh, I didn't really like the little bomber, so I'm going to get rid of it as soon as possible. It just wasn't... It, it, when I was shooting it, it wasn't doing enough damage. I wanted more consistent damage, and it takes such a long time to charge that it wasn't really effective. So, let's see what we get. Excuse me. This is the Mega Dowser, and I'm sure we all remember what happened with the Mega Dowser last time. I still think it's a little better than the two weapons we traded, so I don't feel like I don't I didn't get ripped off. Oh and the the rat left this for us. 
He says, thanks for the little trusty lockpicks, rat, fink, rr. So I don't know, I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. Uh, but, alrighty. Oh, I've got two blanks. Maybe I want to search for the secret room. And now, if I were a secret room, where would I be? This area looks pretty, pretty good. Remember, I just guess. So, I'm not really... Oh, maybe here. Yeah, let's try over there first. Or, no, no. You know what? I'll do that before I leave the floor. So, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm, I'm just guessing, really. Oh! Wow. And I guessed correctly. Um... And I know some of you might be thinking, hey, oh, you probably played this run before. Um, it, I, as far as I know, it's not possible to seed runs, which means like load up a uh, like a previous map that you've played before, or else that'd be a little bit unfair. If I was trying to beat the game, I could just play the same one that I know I would win over and over again. So, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to stop the episode here, uh, or stop the part here. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to tune in for the next part, coming out soon. Alright, see ya!